Well, P2I is the world's leader in liquid repellent nanocoating technology, and with the ability to take our technology and protect electronic devices from water and corrosion damage. The background of the P2I technology was actually a UK Ministry of Defence sponsored research programme to look at protecting soldiers from chemical attack. So providing protective clothing to prevent the ingress of chemical agents like nerve agents and mustard. The research took place at Durham University and was my PhD project following a Bachelor of Science degree in Chemistry. For me, the biggest thing that attracted me to do my PhD at Durham University was the commercial focus of the research you were carrying out, so you could see how it had applicability in everyday life. And so the fact that you could invent something at the bench and then see it in the marketplace a few years later was highly attractive. Remember back to the Eureka moment where we dropped the, the liquids onto the treated fabric and they repelled it and then we worked very closely with both the University and the UK Ministry of Defence to develop the technology and then write and submit the patents. Durham University are extremely helpful in developing not only myself with regards to the training needed to be able to not just do the science but also how you work with the, the patent agents and the commercial development people and the business development and they were really instrumental in that. This is now the same technology that is the basis of the P2I technology. We initially started in the hearing aid industry with companies such as GN Resound and Siemens and we're now on over 60% of the world's produced hearing aids. But that also led on to success in the mobile phone sector where we now treat phones for Motorola and TCL and other manufacturers of smart devices. And since the setup of P2I, we've now grown from just the UK over into the US and over into China. So for me, this has been a very exciting journey from a research project at a university laboratory, right the way through to development for the UK Ministry of Defence, and then spinning out a company to now a global entity providing a technology to millions of products.